Man United sent Julian Nagelsmann update as inquiries hint made amid Eric Ten Hag pressure. Germany manager Julian Nagelsmann has been linked with the Manchester United job amid pressure on current boss Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford. Germany's national team director Rudi Voller has revealed that a decision will be made on the future of manager Julian Nagelsmann in the next few weeks amid links with Manchester United. Current United boss Eric Ten Hag has come under increased pressure at Old Trafford amid a disappointing campaign which has seen the Red Devils spend much of the season in sixth. United also crashed out of the Champions League group stages, finishing bottom and looking unlikely to make a return next season. Manchester Evening News Sport understands that there are currently no plans to replace Ten Hag but new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe remains unconvinced by the Dutchman. United are 11 points off the top five although they do remain in contention to win the FA Cup, with a semi-final against championship side Coventry City coming up on April 21. And amid continued uncertainty over the long-term future of Ten Hag, United have been linked with several big-name managers. One of those is current Germany manager Nagelsmann. Recent reports have claimed that the 35-year-old is on a list of potential replacements for Ten Hag, although it has been reported that he is keen to continue with Die Mannschaft beyond this summer's European Championships and Voller expects a decision to be made on Nagelsmann's future shortly, admitting that a lot of inquiries have been made. There will be a decision in the next few weeks, Voller told DPA. He has a lot of inquiries. It's no secret that we would like to continue with him, but he has many top clubs to choose from. We hope he stays with us. Manchester United managerial target Julian Nagelsmann has received an offer from an unnamed Premier League club, according to reports. The 36-year-old has been linked with the Red Devils job in recent weeks amid the uncertainty over Eric Ten Hag's future at Old Trafford. Nagelsmann currently manages Germany but will be out of contract after this summer's Euros unless he signs a new deal between now and then. He is said to have emerged as a potential target for United who are considering whether to relieve Ten Hag of his duties before the start of next season. It seems as though interest in Nagelsmann is already ramping up, with the former Bayern Munich boss said to have received an offer from an English club. According to Sport One, he has been approached by an unnamed Premier League side but there is no indication that United are the suitors in question. Newcastle have previously been linked with a move for Nagelsmann, while Liverpool also need to appoint a new manager to replace Jurgen Klopp next season. Meanwhile, it has been speculated that he could return to Bayern Munich when Thomas Tuchel steps down at the end of the campaign. It remains to be seen whether Nagelsmann will end up joining United or any other club if he leaves the Germany role after the Euros in the summer. The Red Devils have been mentioned in connection with several other big-name managers, including England head coach Gareth Southgate and former Chelsea boss Graham Potter. Southgate's contract with England will expire at the end of 2024 and it has been reported that he will not entertain talks over a new job until after the Euros. Potter, meanwhile, has been out of work since leaving Chelsea but was recently said to have turned down a return to management with Ajax. There is still a chance United could decide to stick with Ten Hag by giving him at least one more season to get things right. He recently issued a defiant response to the speculation around his future by insisting that he fully expects to remain in charge past the end of the campaign. I don't have any doubts, Ten Hag told Sky Sports. I'm just focusing on my job, focusing on this process, in this project. I really love to be here, I'm enjoying it. For me it's a challenge. It will not go always in the right way. It's not going always the results in the way we want it but I'm sure we're in the right direction and we will get where we want to be. Kobe Mainu can be Man United's Jude Bellingham but he reminds me of Sir Jim Ratcliffe favourite. Louis Soha has likened Kobe Mainu to former Manchester United target Jude Bellingham but feels the teenager is more similar to an old Trafford legend beloved by Ratcliffe. Former Manchester United striker Louis Soha believes Kobe Mainu could be the next Jude Bellingham but feels his game is more similar to an Old Trafford legend adored by Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Manu was earmarked as the young star most likely to break into Eric Ten Hag's team this season at the start of the campaign. However, a freak injury during United's pre-season tour of the United States halted the 18-year-old's progression until November. Once fully fit, Manu became a regular in central midfield and has already added goals to his game. In February, 
he scored the winner in a thrilling 4-3 victory over Wolverhampton Wanderers and on Sunday, he scored his second-ever Premier League goal, and first at Old Trafford, with a delightful curling effort in the 2-2 draw against Liverpool. Unsurprisingly, hopes are high for Maynou, now a full England international with one eye on a Euro 2024 squad place, with comparisons already being made to Real Madrid's Bellingham. However, speaking to Paddy Power, Sahar feels the teenager could be United's next Paul Scholes, who minority shareholder Ratcliffe recently declared would be the one former United player in his prime that he would bring back to play now if he had the chance. Sahar explained, I hope Kobe Maynou can be Manchester United's Jude Bellingham. He's got the skills and the composure. He's one of those players who has grown quicker than normal and he's showing real maturity at 18, especially considering he's playing in an unstable squad. Manchester United's form is all over the place and we saw it against Chelsea and against Liverpool. Having a player like Maynou who can surprise the opposition with his calmness and out of nowhere, he's able to produce some magic so he has no ceiling. When you look at Jude Bellingham, he's a monster physically. I'm not saying that Kobe isn't a beast physically, but in terms of height, speed and technical ability, where he matches him, this is where Bellingham is already ahead. He's managed to play a lot of games already, in Borussia Dortmund and now in Real Madrid, but that's not the case with Kobe. They have different styles because physically, Jude is a monster, he's just a freak. Everyone has to look at their own game. I remember one player who wasn't graced by God with their physique. He wasn't tall or quick and technically he was steady but nothing like Marcus Rashford or Cristiano Ronaldo, and that was Paul Scholes. He ran the show and every midfielder in the world would say that he was one of their favorite players. It's not just one or two qualities that Maynou has, he's got the full package, but he has to find a way to be a bit more effective in some areas of his game, and not make the same mistakes. He'll be one of Manchester United's greatest players if he finds the consistency. Ratcliffe previously said when asked about which ex-United player he would have in the current team, Paul Scholes I'd bring in. That's the player that is most missing. They are not Roy Keane, but they have Casemiro and Kobe Maynou, they are more defensive. They don't have a Scholes, and Andres, Iniesta. Kobe Maynou can be Man United's Jude Bellingham, but he reminds me of Sir Jim Ratcliffe favourite. Louis Saha has likened Kobe Maynou to former Manchester United target Jude Bellingham but feels the teenager is more similar to an old Trafford legend beloved by Ratcliffe. Former Manchester United striker Louis Soha believes Kobe Maynou could be the next Jude Bellingham, but feels his game is more similar to an old Trafford legend adored by Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Maynou was earmarked as the young star most likely to break into Eric Ten Hag's team this season at the start of the campaign. However, a freak injury during United's pre-season tour of the United States halted the 18-year-old's progression until November. Once fully fit, Maynou became a regular in central midfield and has already added goals to his game. In February, he scored the winner in a thrilling 4-3 victory over Wolverhampton Wanderers and on Sunday, he scored his second-ever Premier League goal, and first at Old Trafford, with a delightful curling effort in the 2-2 draw against Liverpool. Unsurprisingly, Hopes are high for Maynou, now a full England international with one eye on a Euro 2024 squad place, with comparisons already being made to Real Madrid's Bellingham. However, speaking to Paddy Power, Soha feels the teenager could be United's next Paul Scholes, who minority shareholder Ratcliffe recently declared would be the one former United player in his prime that he would bring back to play now if he had the chance. Soha explained, I hope Kobe Maynou can be Manchester United's Jude Bellingham. He's got the skills and the composure. He's one of those players who has grown quicker than normal and he's showing real maturity at 18, especially considering he's playing in an unstable squad. Manchester United's form is all over the place and we saw it against Chelsea and against Liverpool. Having a player like Maynou who can surprise the opposition with his calmness and out of nowhere, he's able to produce some magic so he has no ceiling. When you look at Jude Bellingham, he's a monster physically. I'm not saying that Kobe isn't a beast physically, but in terms of height, speed and technical ability, where he matches him, this is where Bellingham is already ahead.